guys, here we are again, and this time we're going to do this sample cooking. Some Peru cooking. I know that I said that I might do this one in Japanese, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do instead is actually do translations of the two videos so that if you're interested in learning Japanese or just prefer the sound of it to my boring English voice, then um, you can use it for that and there's an option. So that's what I'm going to do. Just to show you, this is how the curry ended up looking. So as you can see, everything got a little bit more translucent. The um, bonding agent settled nicely on the pickles and the rice looks really good. I think it looks great. And I have sent, sent a few pictures of it to people and it has fooled them. So I guess that's the objective. But let's take a look at this one. And this one is slightly more difficult. It's middle level. And as you can see, there's some crazy stuff going on. Now, just to reiterate, this is not edible, so don't eat it. But let's open up the box and see what we've got. So that basically, yeah, you have to put it in the uh, hold if you want to bring it back to wherever you've come from. Here are the instructions. The typical do not eat. And oh, wow, <clears throat> I'm intimidated already. Got some nori and some onion and wasabi. I guess I think you guys in the US call them scallions. Here is what looks like the sauce. Ooh. And a bit of a nicer bowl than the other one, which is cool. The other one was a pretty standard paper bowl. But this one's got quite a nice relief on it. And it's a bit more presentable. They were roughly the same price, I think. We've got our adhesive bomb. And then some noodles. Oh, there's been a casualty already, but that's okay. We've got the noodles there. We have some bubble wrap. Anyway, we're not here for that. We're here to make some serious noodles. Okay, so I'll just take some of the stuff out with the packaging. We know how the adhesive bond works. Usually we mix it with our stuff. And here we have, at least I predict what it is. If I can get it out, there's some wasabi, some scallions, or as we call them in the UK, spring onions. And then here, some nori, or seaweed, which looks really quite realistic, actually. Broken noodle, noodles, better get them out too. All very lovingly packaged up to survive. Mystery objects, probably to hold up the noodles in there, I guess, and then 
some um, chopsticks and what looks like the thing that will suspend the noodles themselves. Okay, so let's take a look at the instructions. Got all the parts. I suppose let's start at number one. How about that? Number one, prepare the ingredients. Cut the accompanying nori and the black plate-like part into strips. Soften the accompanying spring onions. So we just put them in some warm water. So they're pretty soft anyway, actually. So let's cut up the nori. So they want that in strips. So we're gonna do it in strips. We're gonna do what they say. I think that'll do. Looks okay. Not great, but whatever. Um, prepare the base. Put the accompanying clip stand and clip the chopsticks. Okay, yeah. Just need the angle you like. Okay, so what we're doing, as you can see here, this has like actually a really nice little thing that you clasp like a drill head that you can tighten that into. cool so we put that in there like that then we take the chopsticks oh, I usually mess it up that's good and place them in a way that suits it so let's take a look so let's try to emulate that I guess down a bit. I think that looks like a kind of semi-natural pose. Oops. What do you think? Yeah? Okay. You can bend that too, I think. Um, okay, so prepare hot water. So 42 to 45 degrees. And heat proof wash for a while. Okay, put a few noodles into the boiling water until it gets warm enough. And then we just wait for um, the noodles to cook. So let's get some noodles. So prepare some water, which is roughly um, forty-five degrees. I'm going to put a bunch of noodles in there. Not all of them yet. Whoops. Just let them soften up so that they're malleable and they hold their shape like that. I mean, that looks pretty good. And then what we're going to do is arrange the wax noodles around the um, around 
chopsticks. And the goal is to sort of hide the um, pole or the stick or whatever you want to call it. This is a lot of noodles to pick up with some chopsticks, in my humble opinion, but you know, noodles are good. It's definitely putting me in the mood for some, that's, that's for sure. how difficult it is. The struggle is real. Okay. We might as well use the rest of them because they're there. Final one. I'll just generally try to bulk out this bit so people can see that I have been very haphazard in my noodle placement. That looks kind of real, I guess. Kind of an action shot. Okay, next step. So from the rest of the noodles. Okay. Oh man. Okay. 
These are okay. I mean, let's just do it. In fact, let's cut out what is probably an essential step and just. The objective here is to cover the base, really, which I think that kind of does. And pop in this stuff, put the wasabi here, just leave it there. Put some onions here and put the nori put the nori here I don't actually white like Wasabi. I have a cat tongue, but it's there. There, there's the main dip. That there. Okay. Now we make the soup. Is why we have the adhesive. Okay. Well, we have it. I mean, whatever's what. So here we have some boiling water. I'm just going to pop this in there. Yep, yeah, that's boiling until it becomes a liquid essentially. And we're going to pour it into this bowl and then I just pour it in there and see what happens. Ah! Don't do that at home, guys. Almost there. Put a bit more boiling water in there. Do it.
delicious. Uh, I'm making a mess. Let me just pour it on, I think. That's it. And they have, I mean, they'll take a while to dry. So we'll revisit it once it's done. There you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit weird, but never mind. I've got to clean up. Right. See you later, guys. <laughs>